We will now try to understand the structure of the service portfolio and also the relationship between service portfolio and service catalogue. A service portfolio represents the complete set of services that is managed by a service provider. It is used to manage the entire life cycle of all services and it is part of the overall service knowledge management system. It has three parts, namely pipeline, service catalogue and retired services. Pipeline represents services that are under consideration or in development stage. Service catalogue represents services that are live and currently available for customers and those that are available for deployment. And retired services are the ones that have been decommissioned and not available for customers. The service catalogue is a subset of the service portfolio and is the only part of the portfolio that is visible to customers. It consists of services presently active in service operation and offered to current or prospective customers. Service details can enter the service catalogue only after due diligence has been performed on related costs and risks. Required resources are engaged to fully support active services while they are offered to and utilized by the customers. In the next slide, we will learn the definition of service catalog. Before we proceed further, let us try to understand what exactly a service catalog is. A service catalog is a database or structured document with information about all live IT services including those available for deployment. While it is essential that all live IT services should find a place in service catalog, it is also necessary that customers and users should have visibility of new services or changed services that will be available in the near future. Hence, services available for deployment into live environment are also generally included in the service catalog. Service portfolio consists of three parts, pipeline services, service catalog and retired services. The service catalog is the only part of the service portfolio that is published to customers and is used to support the scale and delivery of IT services. Hence, it is important that it is designed and presented in a way that is easily accessible and understood by the customers. Apart from the description,